Welcome back to Beanie Stitchery. Welcome. <laughs> you didn't do the intro. I'm Brandy. I'm Brandy. And I'm Emma. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome. Yes, we're discombobulated. We've got a lot. I think I'm still hanging over from this retreat. Yeah. <laughs> it has taken a long time to get back to normal. But, yes. oh, my Lanta, did we have the best time. <laughs> what is that noise? He's chewing on his toy. Oh. We're filming at my house, my new house. Emma's house. Which means we have Ranger in the kennel. So if you hear dog toy chewing, don't mind that. <laughs> He's fine. And you're looking right at my, this. these two double doors lead into my crawfish. So, <laughs> exciting. Yes. <laughs> And we're sitting on her brand new couch. Which is also exciting. Yes. Lots of, lots of uh, new things for you. Very much new things, but all good. Okay. Yeah. Life updates. What's been going on with you? Um, like I said, I'm just recovering from the retreat. Mm. Uh, it was absolutely phenomenal and wonderful. And work is crazy busy. And I have not hardly stitched at all this week because I have been pulled in 50 million different directions and working like, you know, 55 hours this week. And mm -hmm. it's just been, it's been nuts. So yeah. I have also just been retreat hangover, you know, recovering, um, last weekend, I think the previous owner of this house did not do a single bit of yard work in the six years that he owned it. So we had to do a lot of raking. Um, so you will see when I show things, there's blisters on my thumbs. Don't mind those. Okay. It was five hours of raking nonstop. I was wearing gloves and everything, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were sweaty. It was so nice out, but like, we're, we're still used to 40 degrees. And when it was 65 degrees and we were out raking, it was like, felt like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was good. It was good to get the yard work done and our grass looks so much better. Yeah, and it's just like, it does. we were just out front of my yard and she was like, oh, this is an azalea and this is a tiger lily and this is a rose bush and this. So yeah, I've you have a lot of, of perennials out there already. Yeah. So I want to get some more cause they're kind of like sporadically placed. Like they're not all You're in one spot. You're going to want to wait so. though to oh, see I'm how gonna, much they bloom. Yeah. I'm going to wait they, and I'll put some annuals out. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for that aspect of, you know, like landscaping, flowers. And Casey's like, as long as they're not in the middle of the yard where I have to mow around them, I don't care what you do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited. It's good. Good stuff. But I've also been crazy busy with work because yeah. I don't think busy season is ever going to end. Like just, <sighs> we've had some turnover, which means we have less employees. Like we aren't able to hire as fast as people are leaving, unfortunately. So it's just been crazy busy. Crazy busy. So, all good though. Yeah, good things. All good. Yeah. Good things. So let's just hop into everything Library Sitters Retreat. <laughs> it went so well and everybody's already asking us if we're doing it again next year and the answer is we don't know. So before you put it in the comments, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're meeting together as a group tomorrow actually to talk how everything went, like if, if this is something we wanna do as a group together again, so. We'll have answers within the next month or so, but we just want to like recover, relax. <laughs> What's the word I want to recap? Like, yeah. just go over everything. But And thank you to everybody who came because... You were the reason it was so special. I think that's true. Mm -hmm. Everybody was saying how positive the retreat was and that we made it so positive. And I don't no. think that's true. <laughs> I think it was you all that came that mm -hmm. made it so positive. It was great. Everybody was happy. Everybody was content. Everybody was excited. I just, yeah, the, the room, you could just feel. It, it was buzzing. It was just beautiful. And everybody you could tell on the second day was tired. <laughs> I was retreat, tired. Oh my word. I don't think I slept much because I was the just night so before, excited. So Thursday night into Friday, I think I got three hours of sleep just because like you're just so anxious. I was so anxious. Like what if this goes wrong and did I forget that? And like it was just three hours of sleep. I think yeah. I saw every hour and it wasn't even continuous sleep. Like it was like tossing and turning and I'm just so anxious. But it was all for nothing because it went off without a hitch. Like we got everybody in the door. I think we had all 150 people lined up. It was crazy. There's a picture I'll insert of Kathy and mom who were crowd control for, <laughs> <laughs> for uh, like, we were the bouncers. <laughs> yeah. And we had a pretty efficient process. So um, I'm super happy. Everything went really well. We got everybody checked in in like under 15 minutes. It I was think crazy. it's a testament to the hard work that all of us did. Yeah. Everybody took a portion 
and we all... There was nine of us. Yeah. It was not the two of us, I, so... I honest, I honest to God don't know how people do it by themselves, because there were nine of us, and I was stressed a little Still bit. Still overwhelmed, yeah. So, I, I, you know, but I think it went really, really well. It did I'm go really so well. I'm so over the moon happy mm -hmm. with everything it just the trunk shows were wonderful the people were wonderful the food was good the the space was great the vendors the just everything about it everything and i a million percent the people yeah all the camaraderie ladies. that comes together over needle and thread it's just it's amazing it's, it's just amazing. there's nothing more satisfying than that and i just Every single person that I talked to and that came up and talked to me, just so, I, I don't want to get emotional. It just was so. Because <laughs> we could. It was amazing. You know, I've had a hard year and you guys are the ones that have kept me together. So it was awesome and I don't want to cry. So don't cry. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. It was there awesome. were so many people that came up to us and like individually just, it. thank you. Just, yes. oh, we can't uh, say it enough. <laughs> I I'm blown away. Yeah. I am absolutely blown away. Um, I can't show everything that no, we got we would because be here for five days. Every, I think every single person at that retreat handed something out to everybody. It was crazy. It, it was crazy. I've hands. never gotten that much stuff at a retreat. And we've been ever, to a 300 person ever. retreat and we didn't get this much it, stuff. It was just. Everybody amazing. had something for somebody and just. Uh, the generosity of Stitchers is amazing. And the money that we raised for... Oh, my word. So I, we don't want to say, like, a final number. We'll post a final number once. All of the expenses are paid. All of the vendors have cashed their checks, everything. But it was over $9,000. So it... Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. And the, the literacy volunteers of Kennebec Valley are just going to... I kept saying it all weekend. Poop their pants. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's I don't think that they get donations like that. No. So yeah. I, I'm so like, we are all so grateful mm -hmm. to have done that. And that's because of the, your generosity and what you all did. So it was, it was phenomenal. So anyway, um, I put all of my retreat stuff away because <laughs> I wasn't really thinking and I was like, just unpacking everything and putting everything where they go. And then I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so, so I have a few stitchy kind of things to show, but mom's going to show a lot of the little trinket doodads. I can't show everything, the trinkety doodads, because this whole box is full. It is full of she everything the that I got. Cobalt toolbox. Because Rhode Island Deb made me do it. <laughs> they literally went to Lowe's on Friday night. After dinner. <laughs> after dinner, after the retreat, and got... These, like look. they're crazy pants and then the drawers are even full it you doesn't know. you have oh. to i don't know I, I don't you can one. only do one at a time so this is full and this is full oh my of God. everything that i it's received from amazing. the retreat needle minders and floss bling i don't and think scissors. we ever need to buy a needle minder again just everything decorative band-aids notebooks uh oh teresa she gave these bags out. Oh, so cute. And little floss bitties of our friends when they were oh, little. Oh, so cute. Um, somebody made a little scissor fob. Little duckies. Just oofta. I love this. <laughs> um, just got needle minders and needles and thread. And just, I think, I literally think that somebody... Gave, everybody gave something. So it was amazing. I can't go through everything because you'd be here for a million years. Um, I did get a table gift from my friend Diane. She gave us the main coaster. I did want to bring that out. And a floss, right? Yes. Yeah. And a There's nap, a few other she things. She yeah. gave a whole bunch of stuff. Stephanie's item is in here somewhere. She gave us the... Uh, no, it's in my stitching. She, gave, she made us personalized uh, floss. Mm -hmm. rings with little bitties on them uh Nisi gave us scissors the, and floss and the lobster lobster needle minder needle minder <laughs> Ooh. oh my word of course of course mm. it's super cute 
Thank you, Nisi. And then my your best friend Sydney. was also at our table. And this was her first retreat. Yeah. And I think she was blown away. <laughs> well, she is still new to cross stitching environment. Like she she doesn't watch a lot of floss tube. Like, you know, she's very green to floss tube, like anything cross stitch. So, I mean, she she says she watches us. So, <laughs> hey, Sydney. <laughs> um, but she was like, she came from Florida with a backpack. That's it. And first of all, how did you even fit your stitching in a backpack? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, but she came in a backpack and I have a whole entire Target bag. I still need to ship it. I'm sorry. I've been busy. <laughs> but she told me no rush. So, but it is all... The Everything. stuff that she like received. a full Target bag. Full. Plus her haul. But full. <laughs> well, I had to buy her stuff and you bought her stuff. Yeah. And she finally learned how to stitch on Laguna. Laguna. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now her and I are starting a round robin together. We're going to send um, a project back and forth. And she was like, okay, but only if we stitch it on Laguna. <laughs> I was like, okay, we can do that. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to say it right again. No. <laughs> Cause she was so genuine. She was like, Oh, look at this Laguna. And I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> um, Amy made us these, I don't, she did not make them. Well, she got us these, uh, beautiful Little boxes. boxes to keep your stitchy stuff in. Um, we received several little bags mm -hmm. from people. Um, and this is my favorite, this like little, little orc, uh, catcher. orc catcher. I love this. This is so beautiful. Just, so many people. Uh, Karen gave me some of the removable post-it stuff. Oh. If you're a, you know, paper chart stitcher, she said that you keep it in the plastic. Yeah. And you can use this as a line. Oh, that's a good idea. You've been tra tracking your lines. So this will last me forever. So thank you, Karen. And just so, so, so many much. things. So I'll go through my stitchy kindness a little bit. I was gifted a oh. poop ton of patterns. Well, what? I didn't keep those out, so you go ahead. <laughs> well, sorry. So, didn't, um, not Denise. Diane. Diane, sorry. Um, brought a whole bunch of Brenda Gervais patterns that she has already stitched and was looking to pass on the stash. So, out of that pile, I grabbed um, Bloom Where You Are Planted, and I love this. And I am definitely going to be pulling, there's only like five colors in here, so I'm definitely going to be pulling from my color on cotton and... Um, I didn't even realize that had a hummingbird on it. I didn't grab my color of cotton. Really? Well, it's part of my haul, but... I didn't bring any of my floss because I would have had to bring another whole bag. <laughs> then, um, Penny of the Daily Stitcher, she brought me the 4th of July rolls from Primrose Cottage. Oh, Penny. And, oh, and Frosty Tiny Town, <laughs> which I don't have in this pile, but she brought me that too. And then somebody gave... Shelly. Shelly. I couldn't remember who. Sorry. Okay. She probably was my favorite. You person. can't say okay. favorite. Come on. She made my whole retreat. Yeah, she was the amazing. The note she gave us that said, if I don't tell you already, I've had the best time of my life. And she wrote it before. And she wrote, oh, <laughs> she just was touched my heart and I loved her so much. So she, she gave was... a little extra gift to all of us nine library stitchers that put, the, put it on. And in it was this Quaker medallion from Modern Folk Embroidery. And I am definitely going to be pulling from color and cotton. Yeah, this one is mine. Oh, you got a different one. Yeah. <gasps> we should all stitch these together. That would be so fun. As a round robin. Wouldn't that be fun? No, I don't want to do any more round robins. <laughs> Agreed. I'm, I'm round robin tapped out. <laughs> I think we can stitch them on our own. <laughs> I think so too. And then Carol Smelligan, Karen's sister. Oh. She knew I wanted to stitch this for my dad. Uh, this is 99 by the ink circles. Have you seen Marissa's? Yes, she's killing it. So I definitely want to get started on that. I think I'm going to stitch it on, um, Joy, the Carolina Stitchers is also stitching that. And she's stitching it on Ale by Picture This Plus. And like, how perfect I think that's could that be? For, is it the call for? I think so. That's what, uh, Marissa's stitching hers on too. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. Cause the list on the back is all the beers. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I also, um, Miss Mary Lou. We love Mary Lou so much. <laughs> She's of two crossed stitchers yeah. on uh, floss tube. If you haven't seen her, so she gifted me the Lizzie Kate Flip It series, the all of the Halloween ones, 
and all of the Christmas ones in this bag, plus the border chart to put them all together. Cause she's already stitched them and she knew I talked about wanting to do it. So not only did Mary Lou do that, but this amazing hand, literally hand knit blanket that is so the cozy, softy. the oh. softest, just, I love it. You didn't get to enjoy it at the retreat all weekend. No, though, because Sydney, <laughs> Sydney, who's from Florida and our retreat was obviously in Maine in April. She, it was, it was a beautiful weekend, but it was 50 degrees, which to her was frigid. So she was wrapped up in this literally the whole weekend. If you saw her at the retreat, she was in this. <laughs> so now I get to enjoy it <laughs> and love it. And it's just, it fits my house so perfectly. And Mary Lou, I thank you so much. It was so sweet that you did that. And she gave me a basket to keep it in and just. She's the best. I love it. She is the I best. I love it so much. So also stitchy kindness. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Um, Shirley, who is one of our library stitchers, has a gift a uh, talent she is the most amazing sewer and she has a long arm now and i saw her on her instagram uh her instagram is made by sdf if you want to follow her she has little tags and everything that she puts on everything but she made me this little wall hanging which is gorgeous and i have it hanging in my bedroom I took it down for this video obviously but she used her little uh, long arm as practice i think this was one of her first things that she said she'd done so on her long arm and she look did at those tiny little triangles. just look at how tiny and every single point is perfect she is amazing i i oh i could never i am not worthy i actually. am not worthy <laughs> and then one of our other library stitchers um joanna also gave us a huge stitchy kindness and she did this stitch for me how cute is this I, sorry there's a little acorn chart in there or charm super cute and I have this hanging in my crawfish so and I love it she gave these because we both have new homes so she gave this to me too and it's beautiful the little stitching is so little I know it's gonna be on 40 count like look at how little those I think little it's even stitches. smaller than that it, I don't know it's it's, it's beautiful. tiny beautiful beautiful oh, and this God. frame is gorgeous Look how little those feet This are. is 25 1 over 1. You think so? For sure. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. It is beautiful. So beautiful. So thank, thank you, you so everybody. much, Joanna. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. That, is that so. everything we want to cover retreat-wise? I don't think that we could cover retreat possibly. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's crazy pants. Sorry, I've got so much stuff over here. Know, I'm like trying to get nuts. myself organized. All right. Then finishes? we're going to jump into finishes because we both... Oh, I do. We do have FFOs that we didn't show. You need to get yours. I didn't. Hang on. So we did the smalls exchange at the retreat. So let's talk about what we what we stitched first. Do you have a picture of it? No. Brandy. Wait. I'm the worst. <laughs> She stitched the itch to stitch in a long pillow with rick, pink rick rack. Her, she, her, her bobbins are pink and then red. That's what she gave. And I gave, I'm gonna insert a picture. Um, Nicole, who is one of our library stitchers, actually ended up with it. Um, I did not know this. Yes. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Well, I couldn't find the person that gave it to me. And I was like peeking around at everybody's stuff and like, who, who got it? And then she came up to me. She was like, thank you so much for my smalls. And I was like, Nicole, I love that you got it. <laughs> um, but I stitched, it was one of the winter birds from Erin Elizabeth's winter birds patterns. Um, it's a pretty big chart, but I just took one of the little birds and stitched it on a birdhouse. And that was pretty fun. Um, you go go first. I got a strawberry in the most beautiful colors. And Karen Hildreth stitched this for me and oh, she so is so amazing. She stitches faster than I've ever. I know. She gets so much done, but that fabric, it's not translating here, but it's, it's like a peachy, peachy color oh, with these beautiful. colors. It's, it's absolutely stunning. gorgeous. And I got pins to go in it and I got charms and light bulb pins 
and it was in this beautiful, beautiful box. So Karen, I am gonna treasure this because I probably never will stitch my own strawberry. Mm -hmm. So I love it so much. I don't have one Should and box. it's, I did. It's beautiful. I know, I love a decorative box, so that's definitely why I picked it. <laughs> so mine, I actually got from someone who we stitch with, um, Tina Pendleton, and it is so much. Hello Spring by Erin Elizabeth. And it is gorgeously finished. Come on, focus. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Oh, well, it keeps going in and out, but you get the gist. It's stunning. Um, this is by Erin Elizabeth, and she's finished it on this little block. So, but she also had, well, I don't know if she added or if it came with this um, string if I wanted to hang it, but I just have it sitting on a, a shelf like this. Perfect timing, springtime. And she put like Tina Pendleton. Stitch by and the Library Stitchers Retreat 2024, which is so cute. And I'll just remember this as the smalls that I got forever. And it's just, I love it so much. And Emma loves a. I Aaron love an Erin Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And this bag that I got it in was stuffed to the brim with all stitchy, like, uh, what do you call it? A snag nab it and an unpicker and like. Everything stitchy that you can need and a little doily that I have over there that I use as a little mug rug and it's just I love it all. I love it all so much and it came in this like green like floral bag and it was beautiful. Tina's the best. She's such a good gift giver. Tina is the best. She is. Okay. So that I was have FFOs. one more FFO to show that is not my FFO. Um, I had shown mine. Uh, this is from the Brenda Gervais swap. <gasps> It's from the Pins and Needles uh, book. Look at the little beads on it. It's so cute. Super adorable. And I am remiss to say that I do not know the name of the lady that... She didn't send the card? Or do you she forget? She did. Oh. And then I left it on the counter and Brenna cleaned and threw it away. I know that she's from Scott, Louisiana. I'm waiting for Holly Jones to email me back yeah. so that I properly thank her. But I absolutely watching. love it so much. It is so beautiful. So dainty is and Is that pretty. walnut shells that it's filled with? I think yeah. so. Yeah, either that or like the poly fill. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The little poly beads. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. Super it's cute. absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I love a Brenda Gervais. All right, that was all of our FFOs. And now let's get into finishes. So how many do you have? Two? Two. So you go first. Oh. Um, my first finish is um, Hello Spring by Brenda Gervais. I'm well, the pattern is Tis Spring. Oh, Tis Spring. Sorry. <laughs> by Brenda Gervais. And I stitched this on, I am so not doing well, uh, 16 count Luminous Fiber Arts, not Luminous, Legacy Fiber Arts. I kept saying Luminous last time. Uh, my hair is crazy. I'm fixing it. Sorry. 16 count Legacy Fiber Arts by Legacy Fiber Arts. Covered Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Covered Bridge is what it's called. Oh, my Lanta. Just I am mess. a hot mess. Um, I did a lot of conversions of the colors in this too. My weight wasn't showing up, so I used a, a variegated and um, I just changed the color of this and the house because they didn't have it. So... I just did a lot of conversions, but I love it. I stitched this with my friend Stephanie, the New England stitcher, who is making me stressed out stitching everything. <laughs> She's not making me stressed out. I'm stressing myself out. So speaking of Stephanie, the New England stitcher, we stitched Strength and Dignity by Annie, the proper stitcher. Mm, sorry for the glare. And um, for her birthday, for April her birthday, so, and we both finished it. So you, you show yours first. Mine is stitched on 18 count um, Atomic Ranch Vanilla Cream. How beautiful. And mine is all the called for colors except for two of the reds. Stunning. You need to snag nab it. <laughs> Why would I do that? There's a little thread that's coming out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I do need to snag nab it. I'll let you borrow mine. <laughs> um, I am stitching mine also on vanilla cream, but a 32 count Lugana. And I am taking a page from my mother's book because it is on a huge fat quarter. <laughs> um, but mine is not, surprisingly. I know. Well, I am still half packed and my sewing machine is one thing I have not unpacked. So 
that's why. <laughs> um, but I switched mine up a little bit and I used some blues and I changed the color of the grass because I didn't, my Oscar was way more brown, mm -hmm. Sometimes brown it green can be. and it looked mossy and I wanted it to be spring grass. Like I mm -hmm. wanted it to be nice and green. So I used steamed broccoli by Classic Color Works. Oh, for my fun. Green. So this is mine. Sorry for all the hoop marks. My iron is also still packed. <laughs> but I am so obsessed and I am going to be finish this in, finishing this in a little frame and I can't wait. And it's going in my bathroom, which Stephanie thinks is weird that I will be sitting on my toilet and thinking of her. <laughs> No, it's gonna, I have a lot of shelving in my bath, my new bathroom because it's done, everybody! It's I'm beautiful. I'm super excited it's about it. Beautiful. It came out so good. And so I have a lot of shelving above my uh, washer and dryer that I'm gonna put a ton of finished cross stitch. I'm gonna like frame it with glass so that it, you know, like steam from the shower and all mm -hmm. that stuff doesn't bother it. But I'm super excited. Yay! Okay. Start? Starts. Okay. All of mine are starts. Shut! Again? I told you. I. Wait, no. I do have one whip. Okay, well, we're doing starts right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll start then. So, how are we going to do this if all of yours are... Okay, whatever. Um, mine was a very impromptu start on May 1st. Um, if you didn't know, there are a few ladies, like... Um, oh, I'm going to... Marjorie made. Marjorie made the museum stitcher. I don't remember. Seattle stitcher. The Seattle stitcher, and then... I don't remember if Cam the Stitcher is I technically. Think yeah. Is. Yep. There's a bunch of them that um, did this Manning May Sal, and to get the hype for it, um, Megan Babau did a Seattle Stitcher, posted a bunch of Ma Carolyn Manning's um, designs. And Carolyn Manning actually released three or four uh, designs on May 1st, because I think it's her anniversary of like her shop, and it was 25% off for her anniversary. I can't look at it. Why? Because I can't start another. Oh, story. my word. So I'm going to insert a picture in between us here of what the full chart looks like. This is Peachy Keen. I literally used the link that Aunt, that Megan had, went to Carolyn Manning Designs, downloaded the PDF, went to Hobby Lobby on my lunch break, bought all the DMC, and the Artiste 28 Count Lugana, and I started this puppy the second I got home. <laughs> I love this Go Manning sketch. May! Go Manning May! <laughs> Look at how stunning Ugh. these colors are. Oh, it's not even coming through. Oh, You're I don't have my light on. Smalls. Um, oh, I just, I'm so obsessed. And like, these are the DMC colors. Can you even? They're just so springy, so gorgeous. And I am obsessed. Okay, I'm going to run and turn the light off. Or light on. So that we can see better. Okay. <laughs> well, um, my friends started the uh, bee farm cell. I purchased it. I just haven't started Aaron it yet. Erin <laughs> Elizabeth. It's done. It's hosted by Helen D and Cobweb Corner, and that's where you can get it. And Erin, I love so much. She's one of our dear friends too. So I definitely wanted to support her in this and. I didn't make a whole, whole lot of progress, unfortunately, because... She has 700,000 other starts. <clears throat> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun, fun stitch. It's super cute. And it you've is. quite a good progress. Yeah, almost. I have a lot more flowers and, and wings and oh, yeah. bee body to do, but... It's not a huge chart, though. So... No, it's not. Yeah. And I want to do mine on a, a flat fold, I think. Nice. So I, I know everybody's doing it on that beautiful hut, hut but I want to do mine on a flat she fold. She wants to be different. Yeah. Well, I have the perfect bee fabric for it. So. Yeah. Do okay. you have any more starts? I have no more starts. Would you like me to just keep going with my starts? <laughs> well, should we alternate because sure, you don't have any fine. whips? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am going to show my three, two, four, which is a sal that is started by the top knot stitcher. Um, this is Works by ABC, and I am stitching mine on a 20, coo doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> a 20 count, who is it, <laughs> who is it, <coughs> Atomic Ranch, I should have known, um, <laughs> every piece of fabric you have is Atomic Ranch, pretty much, um, Atomic Ranch Antique White 20 count, 
<sighs> and I got sick of pink and red, so I went over and started the blues and the greens. And I... How fun that you can do that, though. I know. And now I'm, like, ready to go back to pinks and reds. <laughs> or I thought about going down on the purple section, because purple's my favorite color, but... I'm obsessed with this. I love it's it. It's super cute. And um, I'm sorry that everything is so wrinkly, people. <laughs> but I'm just so excited about this stitch. And it's super fun. Oh, I forgot that too. You're it's like me last hot time. Mess Express. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's house it is, we just keep forgetting things because we don't get fully prepared. <laughs> right? Um, I bought a new bobbin case that wow. holds... Most. Most. All but 10 DMC colors, which is annoying. All but 10. Are you freaking kidding me? Anyways, M. Kissa is the one that inspired me for, to do this. Miss Ma'am, how do you fit all of your collection in there? Because I spent two and a half hours. First, I was doing like eight to a section, eight bobbins in one little section. And then I had like 50 of them left after I got them all filled. I was like, oh my God. So I restarted. I didn't take everything out, but I like pushed more. I did 10 to a section. And then I was left with like 25. And I was like, are you kidding me? So then I did 11 because I was like, they're already jammed. Like, I'm not going to want to like rip them out every single time. And then I had 10 left and I was like, they're just going to have to hang out in a baggie. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm done with this project. <laughs> But it's super nice for this 324 style because everything is in that one bobbin case. So it's like super, and it's double sided. So I have been just like popping around like all the 500s. I'll like look around the little area that I'm working on and it's super fun to work with it. So I am loving the 324 style. It's pretty. And I don't know, have you seen, do you follow Works by ABC on Instagram? Mm -mm. She is releasing Next Market a specialty stitch 324 and it's all, she just finished the model. It's insane. Have you seen it? Yes. Oh. It's insane. I'll insert a picture here. It's so cool. Is every square? Every square is, well, is I mean like she reuses them, but like they're different designs, but it's, it's cool. Oh. It's very cool. Oh gosh. I really want to do a Carolyn Manning. <laughs> you should start for Manning May. No, I can't because I want to do the building block style. Who says you can only participate in one sal? Come on. Look at her shirt. You really can't see it. I'd sal that. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. Missy and Kathy gave that to me. I think Ashley actually made it for me. <laughs> I love it so much. So because of our retreat, I wanted to stitch this ASAP. So I went home and Sunday night I started this. And it is Elizabeth and Fitzwilliam from Stitching Wren. She is Annie B's daughter, Chelsea. Chelsea. And this is her first ever design. This is her first design. And I asked her to do it for me for the library stitches retreat because of how much she loves Pride and Prejudice. Like I knew she was and gonna knock this out of the park. We and know she her did. color selection is like she has an eye for colors. So her colors are absolute I mean, you can just see they are stunning. Stunning, stunning. So I had to start it right away and I don't have very much done. <laughs> but I am stitching this start. on an 18 count vintage country mocha. And that's my start. Super cute. I can't wait. That's, I love it, that flower. The design is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Oh, this needle minder is gorgeous. Yeah. It's a little cameo. Cameo. And I thought it went perfect with the stitch, so. It does. At some point, I will finish it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> it's a small. You'll get it done. Yeah. I hope so. All right. My next whip is. Um, <laughs> you look at me and laugh. Yeah, because I have whips. <laughs> you don't. And it's funny. I have cells. <laughs> <laughs> we should do this, like a cell section. <laughs> um, this is the Rainbow Hot Air Balloon by R Apple Tree Cross Stitch. And it is getting to be summertime, and I'd like to have this finished for summertime because it's just so bright and summery. But I am stitching this on just a white piece of Ada. You're like into the geometric stitching, aren't you? I am. This <laughs> one's super fun. Um, I 
did, since the last you saw this, I worked down on filling in the solid blocks of the blue, some of the zigzags, and a little bit of this red. So not a whole lot of progress on this one. I only worked on it for three days, but getting there, getting there. And the colors, I every time I pull this out, I'm like, look at how pretty. It's like all the rainbow. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Spin it like everybody does. <laughs> All right, speaking of another sal, I started this sal at the Library Sisters Retreat on the 20th. Oh, we should insert the picture of everybody that's doing the sal. Yes, there were 16 people. Yep. Two people missed the photo opportunity, though. Cheryl and uh, Wendy missed the photo, the photo op. op. But um, everybody started this on the 20th, and I've seen a lot of... Wasn't it the 19th? He started it on Friday, right? No, Saturday is oh, when we started okay. this. Um, I've seen a lot of progress of a lot of people, so it's beautiful. Reese of the Crafty Remokin is almost finished. I know. I did a dinky dye conversion of this, and my dinky dyes are stuck in my zipper. I know. This is bad. Ugh. You got it. I oh. know, kind of. Um, these are the yellows Plus and the whites. The Plus teal. my teal that's all in a ball right now. Because you got two UFTA stickers. Apparently I did. I got two UFTA stickers. I might have stolen somebody's. Ah. I didn't mean to steal it. Like when you're packing up at a retreat and everything, and everything is, everything is everywhere. everywhere. It's like a dumpster fire at our table. But this is my progress and I love him. Wrinkle central. <laughs> Fresh out of the hoop. <laughs> I did this. So this on? whole side is finished. I'm stitching this on the called for 18 count seaweed. Well, it's not called for 18 count, but the called the for fabric, fabric is seaweed. seaweed. And with the dinky dye conversion. And I love him so much. Oh, frickin' frick. Um, you show this while I... Okay. Um, okay. Uh, my next one is Honey of a Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. Sorry, it's in my hoop. So I'm trying to take it out. There's gonna be hoop marks because... <laughs> Okay, the last time you saw this, I had just finished up to that white house. So I got quite a little bit of progress on this. I stitched for this the week, I stitched on this the week after the retreat. So I was very tired in the evenings and I didn't get a lot of stitching done, but um, you know, progress is progress. So these are super fun and I am stitching all of my tiny towns on 16 Count Wren by Picture This Plus. So. Super excited, and it fits in this little tiny five inch Morgan hoop, and I love it. I love those, those are great. I love it, I love it. So, my next one is Violet's Blue by Blackbird, and this was another start at the retreat, and I got barely anything done. Well, this is the first <laughs> day of the, the retreat, first day. and we were exhausted, barely anything. That's more than I thought. <laughs> it's not very much. Okay, but for barely anything, that's quite a bit. Yeah. So um, I'm stitching this on 32 count Lugana, uh, lightly salted, not roasted by Bestitch Me. And I love the color. It's like a peachy. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Because it's like, I figured it was like that, yeah. how that color. Very so. pretty. I'm excited. I need to get back to this. This is what I'm going to work on tomorrow because I want to get some more progress on this. Mm. So my, um, this is what I worked on at the retreat and this is the only thing I worked on at the retreat. Um, this is my favorite whip of all time, as we all know. Forest Home by the Blue Flower. Come Move on. Face. There we go. And um, I did some retreat prep and I wanted to get some outline um, done for some fill in and well I can I'm just gonna show this first this is all I worked on in the retreat I had the whole outline done of the deer and those two little flowers so literally all I did was fill in that whole big deer was just filling at the retreat and honestly sorry <laughs> am I boring I'm still, I'm still tired from the retreat <laughs> um Honestly, a majority of it was done on Saturday night <laughs> when we went down 
in the hotel lobby and stitched um, a bunch of us girls. It was so much fun. That was my favorite part of the retreat. Is like after, after the stitching. retreat, it's like you know just a smaller group of you and like your closest friends, and it's just ah, oh, I love it. But this is the whole piece, so it's coming together. And now that I got that big deer done, like there's not a whole lot left. So exciting. There we go. That was my last whip. All right. Well, I only have these two left. So um, I have the Quaker birds and Cheryl, I will get this to you as soon as I can, but you'll see why I'm having issues. Uh, so I finished this one. Mine is the green at the bottom. Whose is this? This is yours. This is mine? This is yours. Ah! Oh my God, my back is terrible. What? Look at how crazy I left all these threads. It's not that bad. Ooh, I left these threads crazy pants. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Oh my God, I love seeing it. <laughs> and I think... I can't remember who's this is. That, who's if, after that, you? if this one was mine, that is D Diane. Diane. So I'm almost done with the bottom, but I have to rip out this whole side because Which I'm two side? stitches off. This one right here, this side. I am two stitches off. Let me look at it. It's terrible. Don't see how far down it is. This is the way it's supposed to be, and that's how far over it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving it like that. I can't. So that's I am going to, yeah, it's unfortunate. I can't count. So Cheryl, I am hoping to have this done by the end of this weekend so I can have it to you on Monday. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, ship it to you in the mail. On yeah, Monday. ship it on Monday. Oh, that's where these are. I've been looking for these. <laughs> Look at that. All right. So those are our whips. <laughs> just a note from Stephanie. Just keep stitching. <laughs> um, okay. Paul. Yikes. <laughs> so we had a retreat and I didn't bring all of my uh, floss that I bought, but I bought quite a bit of cottage garden threads and some uh, color, and cotton. color and cotton, but which I'm not going to show. Um, we had Barefoot Needle Art as one of our, um, our vendors, and this is called Autumn Sun. <gasps> it is a 40 count. You are crazy pants. What were you thinking? I didn't read the tag. When I saw my receipt, I was like, Emma, Brenna must have rung this in wrong because I didn't buy a 40 count. Yeah, you did. That might be a future giveaway. <laughs> oh my Lanta. It's beautiful. <laughs> wow. 40 count. Are you going to ever stitch it? I don't know. That's like gauze. <laughs> it is like literal. How do people stitch on that? Oh my gosh. You need to steam this or something. I know. It's, really it's hard with good. fabric trunk shows because you got to tight, ship them all tight and stuff. Oh. <laughs> that's wow. Funny. That's interesting. Um, so I also bought some 28 count Atomic Ranch uh, Phantasm. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. That was at Reese. We had Reese, yep. um, the Crafty Grimalkin, as a vendor at our show. And then I got um, some 36 count Sandy Toes. I intentionally bought this. Oh, okay. I believe I bought 40. <laughs> and then from Grace Notes Fabric, I got some 28 uh, Wind Song, which I just thought Pretty. was beautiful. This color. Imagine like a mermaid on that. I was thinking the bee, the botanical bee. Mm. It's beautiful. So Emma also had shown 
um, some stitchy kindness, and I kind of mixed mine in with haul. Um, with haul. Diane gave me a bunch of Brenda Gervais patterns that I didn't have. Who knew there were any that you didn't have? I know. Well, there was all of them, but I didn't. I didn't want to uh, be a glutton. Isn't he cute, Easter Peep? Super cute. And she gave me some luminous fiber arts um, macchiato, eighteen count because I love eighteen count. So that's eighteen count macchiato, and this is Stormy Sea. Ooh, pretty pretty. And then part of my patterns that I bought: stitches by Ethel. Oh, her trunk show was so pretty. Gorgeous. When gorgeous, we tell gorgeous. you models sell a pattern, models sell a pattern because, yeah. whoa. And Stitches by Ethel is proof of it. Her patterns are, wow. Because, like, to be honest, if, just looking at that, that's not something I would really want to stitch. Seeing the model, the candy it's something pumpkin. I want to stitch. Yeah, like, it's, it's beautiful. It's so cute. I got her new Stitching Bird. And I believe Kathy and Ashley started that at the retreat. Oh, fun! And then I got a day of freedom. Because her her models were just unbelievable. You're going to have an avalanche over there. I probably I am. Then from Sweet Wing Studio, who sends a huge truck show. Holy beautiful. cow. Beautiful. God is good. I wouldn't have looked at this. If it weren't for The mom. model was beautiful. And then I've been wanting this one, goodness and mercy. Oh, that one is so cute. It's that big cute. fat bluebird. I know. And then um, Hands On Design sent her trunk show. And Penny, the daily stitcher, was stitching this. So oh, I had. She? So see this yellow? That's why I bought that yellow. <laughs> <laughs> F is for flag. And then um, Reese had this new release from October House Fiber Hearts. The Fiber Arts. Fiber Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> fiber arts the gingerbread row at least you didn't I say love. fiber farts no but you just did and then <laughs> ah the fanciful flamingo say her name because i always mess it up alicia alicia i always called her alicia no. which is not right and i cannot say your name and i'm so sorry think about it alicia i have been trying for years to do this and i can't got me this because she's so sweet cardinals mean a lot to both Nisi and and her and i and at some point we are going to stitch this all together because she makes me want to cry i gave her a great big hug and i almost did cry when i hugged her because she's been so so sweet mm. to us and i just seeing her and meeting her in person was Everybody, like all of the people that we connect with and Zooms and... I know. Oh, it was just so nice to see everybody all in one room. It was. Um, I got the new Blackbird because you have to. And I did not look at these twice, ever. And seeing the models from Liz Matthews, wow. So our friend Shirley wanted to do this. Oh. And I was like, oh, you're crazy. But looking at the model, it is. And it's so much smaller than you would think. It's only 101 by 170 high. I know. But and it's like, on 32 count, too. Oh, the model was yeah. on 32? So it's oh, not wow. very big. It's not. So it's beautiful. And I was like, I was not even going to get this, but I was like, it's so beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And the detail, like, in that model, the, like, <sighs> lace curtains on that house... Oh, we're not even going to be able to show it. Oh, they were just so cute. It was beautiful. And then this is our next sale. Because the model of this was just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Seeing this in person and how vibrant these colors are mm. and how beautiful it was, I had to get it. And Brenna wants it. She was like, oh. Yeah. Like she, when she saw the model of that, she was like, can you stitch that for me? I will stitch that for her. And then I got Serenity from Penny at the Daily Stitcher because I'm crazy. <laughs> but it is so beautiful. So beautiful. That border, I can't wait to stitch that border. And those little birds and just everything about it, I love so much. So, and then 
Oh, you're still going. <laughs> One more. I thought you were done. <laughs> Two more. Oh, no. Finally, a farm girl had a trench show. Look at the bears on that. Super cute. I think Sydney got this, too. She did. She was like, I wouldn't have never bought that, but the way the model is finished, it's in like a cute little pillow. She was like, the way this is finished is so cute. I need to do the exact same thing. It's so cute. I love it. And then Emma. As a table gift. As a table gift. Got us the Emily Call I Am Enough pattern. Because you are enough. Phew. Okay. I, did, I didn't do too bad. So I'm surprised. I'm going to start with non-retreat haul, and then I'll get into retreat haul. All of mine was retreat, I So think. I am part of like two monthly subscription things. One of them is the Fabulous House series by Cottage Garden, and here is the Hobbit House. And my fiancé, Casey, is obsessed with the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings series. And when he saw this come in the mail, he was like, you're stitching that for me like yesterday. Like you need to start that. And I was like, I haven't we'll even started any of them yet. <laughs> but he wants this in his room. Mm -hmm. We both had like, this is my crawfish and he has a Lego office. Lego land. Lego land. That's what we should call it. <laughs> and you get a sign, sign for the door. <laughs> but he wants this hanging in his Lego land room. <laughs> He's actually building the Rivendell Lego set right now. Um, and then my second piece of haul, like my second monthly thing is the Atomic Ranch um, fabric of the month. <gasps> and this is lavender. Wow. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to stitch on this. That but color. It, the modeling on it. This is very true to color. Like this is very good. That is stunning. It's that is stunning. so beautiful. Again, if you have any suggestions on what should go on this bright bright boot, booty purple <laughs> let me know because what about it i you could do like half yellow half white like uh like how um liz matthews is doing mm -hmm. like a biscornu on top and bottom oh pretty you could do like a white but i will not stitch on your 40 count yellow oh no i'm just your saying pants. In yellow in general but yes i like i love purple and yellow together yeah like that's a great combination so See, I'm not a huge fan because it just makes me think the Lakers, and I'm not a big Laker, like basketball. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's lavender -y, though. Yeah. But if you have any recommendations on what I should stitch on this, please let me know because I have no clue. Anything would look beautiful on that. It's beautiful. All right. More non-retreat haul. Um, Sydney and I decided we wanted to start a round robin together, and she said, only if it's on Laguna. So we are going to be stitching a Disney piece on it for she's gonna do the villains and I'm gonna do the like princesses and it is going to go on this blue azure blue Zweigart um 32 count is hers blue as well she hasn't decided uh she did hers is a because it's the villains it's like a navy blue like it's mm -hmm. a darker blue so I warned her about navy blue. I was like, you know, stitching Dawn Dark is hard. And she was like, we can do it. And I was like, okay, we can. <laughs> do we want to though? <laughs> yeah. And then just this morning, I got my Fanciful Flamingos favorite things box. This is so stinking cute. It came with the strawberry. I've never had one of these. But Those are my favorite candies. Really? I've never I had love one. them. We can split them. There's one in each. Uh, we can each have one. Um, she has been sending these project tracker cards in with each box and they're so nice so it's cool to have like a fanciful flamingos project card with the fanciful flamingo box um and then it you know comes with the card that tells you where everything's from the zoom information and the project uh the prepper stitcher sent a discount code i'm not gonna share it because i think it's for oh yeah like, yeah don't share it for the fanciful block box but that was super cute a little project tag um, some pins. I haven't even opened the pins because the sticker's blocking them, so I have no idea what they are, but. Are they little strawberries? If they're little strawberries, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh my gosh, they're cute. Little red and pink. Not focusing very well. They're beautiful. Very cute little decorative pins. Um, it always comes with the finishing fabric. This is just like a very nice red. <laughs> I, I don't know what word I was looking for there, but. And we've got some Lady Dot Creates Vintage. Mm, I have some of that. Not the Rick Rack. I have the Pom Pom, but I love yeah. the vintage color. And then it always comes with all of the DMC. 
and it came with a Chantel 141 board, which I'm super excited about. And this is the pattern. It's called Sweet Friendships, if you don't want to, spoiler alert, okay. <laughs> but this is so pretty. It says, Sweet Friendships Refresh the Soul and Awaken our hearts with joy. And it is just so cute. And it does such a beautiful, beautiful job. Come on. Cover your face. It's so cute. So I really want to stitch this. Is it a proverb? Yeah. Oh, no, it's inspired by Proverbs. It's not a proverb. Yeah, inspired by Proverbs 27.9. Very pretty. So, and it's so beautiful. the model is on 32 count, which I'm super excited about because I thought I was going to have to stitch it on a 20 because most models are stitched on 40, so I was worried that the board, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't fit. fit. But it's stitched with 32 count, which is my favorite, so I am super jazzed about this. And what a great gift for a friend. That would be. I'm keeping it for myself. Because <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Now we're treating. None huh? of you are getting it. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> um, okay. So let's start with what I got at the Crafty Grimalkin. Um, I accidentally went to her thing more than once. <laughs> accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. Um, I got more Any Tiny Town, which, hello. Super cute. And then I got all four of the Seasonal Courier Robin Pickens. And if you haven't seen these, where have you been? Hello. Um, I bought all of these paper patterns. And then I get back to the table and Stephanie goes, Oh, you know, you can buy her patterns PDF too. Well, thanks for telling me. Because I'm a PDF girl. Like, I would much prefer a PDF. But support the well, LNSs. Go support. ahead. Buy it and you can give me all the rest of those. How about you buy me the PDF and I'll give you these. <laughs> Crazy pants. Crazy pants. This is Summer Blue Jay. Or Blue Jay Summer. Super cute. This is Blackbird's Autumn. Which one's your favorite? I have no idea. A Cardinal's Winter. Super cute. And a Robin's Spring. I love them all. I don't think I have a favorite. I literally love every single one of them. They are all beautiful. And normally in like a, a seasonal series, like you're like, oh, I'm, you know, like I could do without this one, but I'm going to stitch it anyways because it's part of the series. Uh-uh. I love every single one mm -hmm. of these. Have you oh, seen? Gorgeous. I think it was Mary Lou that's going to do it on a window. And it's going to oh, have each pretty. of the four. Um, and then at Stephanie and the New England Stitchers table, I bought two phone stands but they're in use at my office and one of them I give to my friend Sydney so but she has some really good wood stuff and mm. I was going to buy a project keeper but Miss Stephanie sold out three hours into the retreat so Stephanie stop being so good because I wanted one <laughs> but like we don't have enough I know and she's not like she's a friend I can just be like hey girl <laughs> get me a keeper <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, so this is from all of our trunk shows, and I tried I really to get like a huge mix of a little bit of everything from all of our trunk shows uh, vendors. But this is a hat for winter by Stitches by Ethel. I love this. I almost bought this too, but I didn't want to stitch the white snowman. <laughs> oh my word! Super cute. He is cute. This is so beautiful. Kindness begins by Emily Call. Oh, I love her stuff. This is very my style, so I'm excited to stitch this one. These are avalanche off me. I love the wrap. <laughs> you are crazy, man. I am crazy. This I'd never seen until she sent them in the models of these. <gasps> what if I stitched like the purple with dark purples? Purple on purple? I don't know. Anyways. Purple on purple. This is well-rounded perennial pinwheels by Hands on Design. And these are just so cute. I've never seen these before, so I'm very excited about that. And then Chris the Camping Stitcher had a um, trunk show, and her models are super cute. So I got Jingle all the way. I don't think I had that one. I thought I had all of her patterns, but I don't think I had that one. I'm obsessed. I love it. Do little jingle bells all over it. Oh, that would be cute. And then I can't resist. You've wanted this, though. I did want this. Uh, this is Cotton Tail by Hello from Liz Matthews. 
her trunk show. Gorge. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <gasps> Are you exhausted? We're still less than an hour. Yay! Mom was like, this is going to be a five hour long floss tube. <laughs> I was like, I don't think so. But yeah. Okay. Plans. Plans. Well, May is going to be crazy. For it's going to be May. <laughs> Every time I hear the month of May, that song, I can't not sing it. <laughs> May is going to be crazy because I need to finish up my round robin. That's mm -hmm. my plan for the rest of this weekend. Priority. It's my priority. I need to get it done. Then I want to work on my Pansy Patch um, Christmas Peppermint Lean series to work on with uh, Missy... And Joy, Joy the Carolina Stitchers is doing the building block cell. So I want to work on that. So I'm going to work on that for, I think, a couple of weeks. And then May 18th is my birthday. And we are going to celebration again. I was going to stay home because it's Brenna's prom. But it's but not her senior prom or anything. It's just She doesn't year. even really care if I'm there either. She, she was literally like, you're just going to be taking pictures of me and anybody can do that. So, yeah. You're coming with me. I'm going with them. So I'm going to celebrations and we are going to have such a good time. And we had an amazing time there last year. Uh, I'm just excited to go back to the 110 Grill and get that hot honey chicken sandwich because <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> it's so good. I'm excited for all the vendors. Yeah. And Silver Creek will be there again. Yeah. And just, I can't wait. Yes. So um, my uh, birthday sal is the Mighty Oak. By Blackbird. So if you'd like to stitch it with us for mom's birthday, May 18th is when we're starting it. Yep. And then on May 28th is my dear friend Nisi's cell. And we are stitching uh, When Cardinals Appear by JBW. I think you're going to do the cardinal from Robin Pickens. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the JBW, but I am going to stitch along cardinals. And I'm going to start the cardinals winter. To do this so, with them. and then on Memorial Day is our Erin Elizabeth's flag style. Mm -hmm. So, I have a lot of starts coming up. When doesn't she have a lot of starts coming up? I won't have any style. Uh, I will have one whip. My building blocks as a whip. <laughs> That's it. Your crazy pants. Crazy mm -hmm. pants. I am going, my plan is to keep doing that Manning May. I... Oh, he's having a bad dream. I can't I can't start with Manning May, but I really, really want to. Okay. My Manning May, I'm obsessed with. I literally like what I showed you was two days of stitching. Like I That's and beautiful. it's going so fast. Like it's pretty rhythmic stitching. Like, you know, the border is like the same. So it's like once you get going, like I almost don't even have to look. Strand on yeah. and just it's keep just, going. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. So I'm definitely gonna be stitching that. I want to get back to Forest Home. And I really would like to finish that, like, ASAP. I'm obsessed with it. So I might just do those two whips. I don't think I have any planned starts other than your birthday, Sal. And, oh, well, and the, so I guess I'll have two starts next time. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my whips, like, manageable to keep, keep kind of, them all in that one basket It's kind of hard with our bi-weekly group to, uh... Everybody is so enabling. It's a problem. Like, oh, we should talk about what we just our encounter at the quilting shop. Oh. <laughs> so, is she the owner? Yes. So, Nina at Seems So More. Seems So Perfect. Seems So Perfect. In Madison, Maine. Yep. Um, she has a beautiful quilt shop. If, uh, if you... Beautiful uh, quilt shop. Her shop is gorgeous. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we went to Fiddleheads after the... Um, oh, I didn't mention that either. <laughs> after, the day after the retreat, we went to Fiddleheads... Um, quilt shop in Belfast, Maine, which is where I'm from, and I, we went with OG Stitchery, um, Pam, the Bougies, Jen Nasca, and uh, Missy, Missy and Beth. Yep, I wanted to Ariel. call her Ariel. <laughs> we love. We Beth. had so much fun. So so much. And fun. She's an event planner, like wedding planner on the side and her and I had a little chat. No way. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I knew she yeah. was an accountant, but Is I, she? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, I knew she was an event planner and you knew I mean, she does the wedding thing on the side. Like, yeah. yeah, but she, her and I talked about all things wedding and she told me some horror stories. And, oh my God. I'm like, girl, don't even la 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 la. 
<laughs> anyway, so we went there, but then today, I had a quilt kitted up and I missed a whole page of fabric. So, so I had to go the back. Book, the book of the pattern like has all of the fabrics listed on one page and there were 18. We thought like that was everything. 18 fabrics, that should be she, enough. She flips the page to like get things organized. There's a whole other, like there's 10 more fabrics. And she's kitting it up, like she's kitting the quilt up with shop hop fabric that is like the main state shop hop. Honey bloom. Yeah. So, and that can only be bought at quilt shops in Maine and not every shop in Maine participates. So like the one that's close to you doesn't participate in the shop. <laughs> so she had to come back up here. Hence why we're filming here. Um, cause we had to go back to that quilt stop. Anyways, that was besides the point. Long story short, Nina, she, I was picking up some fabric for a retreat mat that Shirley is going to make for me. I'm commissioning it from her. Um, and so I was picking up fabrics for that and she was like, Oh, what are you making with this? I was like, Oh, I don't quilt. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> She's like, Oh, well you Yet. should. Yeah. Anyways. So she, we were just talking and she was like, well, what do, what craft do you do? And I was talking about cross stitch and she was just getting back into it. She had just started cross stitch again. She did when she was like, Oh, I cross stitched when I was your age. And now she's getting back into it. And then she is like, do you want to see what rabbit hole I just went down? And she pulled up on her computer. She just bought the 12 monthly minis by Primrose Cottage. So now she's like just getting back into it. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, oh, well, <laughs> let's talk cross stitch for a minute. And <laughs> we talked, we sat there for probably like 10 minutes talking about, you know, like she's like, well, where do you buy your fabric? And I told her about the Crafty Grimalkin in Bangor that if you want to go look at fabric. And then I told her about one, two, three stitch, which has everything cross stitch under the sun and we talked about good notes and pdf patterns and because she was like I, I don't want to mark on my pattern but i lose track and i was like oh let me help you out <laughs> so we just talked all things cross stitch in in the quilt shop and she was i was like you better not start carrying cross stitch things because you're 15 minutes away from my house and that would be bad like as much as i want you to don't don't do it <laughs> for my wallet's sake Oh, if Don't she just uh, even just carried fancy floss, though. Oh, I know. That would be beautiful. Yeah. That would be very, oh, maybe we should tell her just carry floss. Because she was talking, well, I told her about Robin Pickens, how she's a fabric, just like she had Robin Pickens fabric. I was like, oh, did you know she has cross stitch stuff? And she was like, well, if I can order it, like, through the same thing, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. I bought some, uh little mini charm packs to make some bags. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Because <laughs> I'm getting one. <laughs> Hopefully if I can get them finished, but yeah. Well, you can with your new sewing machine. That's a rocket ship. It is. It's a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I think we can say I stitch what makes your heart happy. Bye, everybody. Bye. Well, Emma's going to edit that last part out. No, I'm not. I'm just going to tack it on. We're back. <laughs> well, hopefully they didn't turn it off. You may want to, like, Ugh. go over it because <laughs> okay. well, we forgot a big, important announcement. We had extra bags from the retreat. And we would bags. like to give them away to you. So we have you... six winners. What word? It shouldn't be retreat because everybody would say congratulate. Like it should be something different. Bag? No, because people could say like, oh, I love your project bag and not want it. So let's say moose. Okay. If you would like our goodie bag that has four of our exclusive, well, not exclusive retreat patterns. Well, they were in our bags. Yeah. Floss and bling. All of the goodie, and... goodie bag items that you would have gotten if you were an attendee. Minus the chart holders. Minus the chart holders, yes. Because they're too... We can't ship them like that, yeah. Too heavy. So, if you would like to a chance to win... Say the word comment. moose. Put, your, put a moose in your comment. And that's it. Okay. Is this... Uh, we can. Well, is that for you? I didn't know. I just brought it. Okay. My sister made um, the water bottles... At the retreat. That's not for sale. That's mom's. <laughs> okay. Don't. Now. Now you can go and stitch what makes your heart happy. Bye. <laughs>